So here's the deal. Short and sweet. This is Thailand. I was in the kitchen putting the uh, groceries away and I was thinking about this. I don't really have time today to put it in a gab post. And I think it's important because I think we really need to get clarity of what's going on. And you know, we have done so much research and we've gone all the way back to identifying the Babylonian Radnites as being the evil on the face of the earth. that's trying to eliminate humanity. And who are these people? Christ talks about them in Revelations 2, 9. He calls it out as the synagogue of Satan. So we are literally in a battle with Satan and all of his minions and puppets and politicians. When you look around the world today and you see the evil that we see, you are seeing a beast that's been here for thousands of years. But we people of the light are just now seeing this darkness. Now, here's the point. Karma. Karma is a universal law and there is no human or no in group that can change or alter the law of the universe. You may think Hillary Clinton isn't going to have to pay for her crimes or anyone in the Pilgrim Society, but they will. We don't know what they're suffering right now, but they will in time because everyone is subject to the law of the universe, karma. Of course, the Babylonian Radonites have tried for several millennia to destroy humanity because we are in a transition of going from another, this type of human to an ascended human being. And we ascend with Christ. Well, of course, Satan doesn't want that to happen. So a war has been waged upon us using the proxies and puppets of Satan to commit evil acts on us. Now, sometimes these proxies were kings and queens. Sometimes there you see them in your life as everyday politicians and bureaucrats. You see the, the horrendous laws that are not even constitutional. I mean, they make the acts of murder legal. Uh, it's just so disgusting. But this is Satan at work. And Satan is the Babylonian Radonites who then have the face of all these people that you see doing this evil in the world. Now, in previous lifetimes, you may have sinned and committed evil acts. Well, the law of karma is still in play. You didn't get a pass. Are you having a challenging time right now? Are you sick? Are you, do you have a disease? Well, look no further than your personal karma to see why you may be suffering. Yes, I know that Douglas Gabriel and Rudolf Steiner would say that this isn't always the case. But trust me, for the most of us, it is. Your pain and your suffering right now is because of your karma catching up with you in this incarnation. Now, Buddha says all life is suffering and you can exit by acknowledging the impermanence of your existence. But that's not the way for me. For me, the way is following Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the Lord of karma. He died on the cross to redeem us from our sins from our karma that we had built up for thousands of years. Can you imagine how massive that karma was, and he forgave us our sins. But what did most people do in the next incarnation and the one after that? They kept on sinning. They kept creating bad karma for themselves. Now, is that what you've been doing? Well, if so, maybe it's time to acknowledge that your actions have consequences, not only in this lifetime, but in the ones to come. This is why you want to repent and ask for forgiveness from the Lord of karma, Jesus Christ. Only he can forgive our sins and our daily trespasses. And you will be forgiven, but you have to ask. And then you have to begin your path immediately towards ascension by following him. How do you follow him? And we put this in the Gospel of Sophia in the third volume. We give you all, uh, all the different ways that a spiritual language can be spoken by you to Christ or communicate with the higher spiritual beings because everyone takes a different path, so to speak, to the summit. We all wind up at the same beautiful peak, which is the point which is Jesus Christ. But some people will want to read Anthroposophy. They will want the Christology that Rudolf Steiner offers. Others may want to read the New Testament, go to church, be in Bible study groups. You have to find the path that best resonates with you because you're going to have to work to get those demons and addictions out of you. But you have to stop creating bad karma. Don't be ashamed of following Jesus Christ. 
The propaganda over the last few decades has been intense. It comes, of course, from the Pilgrim Society and the Radonites themselves to get you to think that following Jesus Christ is a naive thing to do. It is not. You have seen the paths in the world. Look at all that we've been through, all, many of us together since 2015 and 16. We, and we can stand here and say to you for certainty, it's either straight to hell or it's the process of ascension. This one of two ways. And the choice is inside of your heart right now. And that place in your heart should be filled with the love of Christ. All these bad actors in the world stage, they will have to suffer their karma, all of them. No one gets out without facing the consequences of their actions. And if not in this lifetime, in the next. The mainstream churches out there don't want you to know about karma and reincarnation because the knowledge of these gives you the keys to unlock yourself from this prison planet. As you do good and follow Christ, you begin to build a coat of armor around you that protects you from evil. Eventually, the only way evil can harm you is by psychologically whipping you up into a fear where you do harm to yourself. This is what happened with the vaccines. Too many of us, though, had christened armor so they couldn't attack us directly. They had to fear monger and propagandize the majority of us. And those people who acted out of fear did themselves the harm. My dear friends, if we're going to win this epic fight of good versus evil, light versus dark, Satan versus Christ, you absolutely must win the battle within yourself first. And as more of us choose the way of Christ, the more everything, absolutely everything around us begins to change. <music>